Uh, good evening, everyone. It's New Year's Eve, and uh, in today's report, I would like to talk about 1,009 children uh, who were being raped in 16 my lab locations today, this evening, and um, uh, they were brought into uh, America by two different companies. Uh, this company called SOCOM, and uh, it's a privately owned uh, child trafficking company, a military company, and it's owned by the Bush family. And they delivered 1,001 children uh, via a privately contracted cargo jet. And uh, this one was, sim was smaller than the Air Force one that brought uh, in those kidnapped children from China. And 73 military men, mostly Navy SEALs, raped 112 of these children on the way from South America. And then they delivered them to this private contractor who is similar to this other, other group, uh, this criminal, uh, privately hired criminal organization called Blackwater XC Infinity. Um, and they are, they're not the ones who actually did it, but they are also heavily involved in supplying children to the uh, Bush family. And um, they picked them up from SOCOM, and uh, there were 12 of these men on this plane, and uh, during delivery they raped 18 of the children. And uh, today we do have some good news. It's been a really, really intense day in our fight for justice uh, here on this planet. And uh, I have a statement from heaven, Father God has destroyed all the artificial intelligence drones. And this was a very important step and necessary step before more arrests could be made. This had to be done because the drones can easily kill a human in less than five minutes by firing a targeted laser at the person. And I know personally how incredibly painful those laser beams are. Um, but I, uh, I work with this energy called zero point energy. And the reason I call it that a lot of people do is, uh, because we pull this down from the higher dimensions and, um, the, uh, zero point energy, um, has got much stronger. So they're very much easier to destroy than they used to be. And it used to take a lot. I mean, they were just horrible, horrible machines and they're just artificial intelligence drones and they float around. And they send them into our home, or they, they once they target a person, they connect the artificial intelligence drone to the person's DNA. And then, unless you destroy that drone, it'll kill you, pretty much, because it, it ain't going to leave you. It just follows you around, up, down, whether you go up or down stairs or whatever. Okay, back to the statement. Most people in tonight's uh, rape and murder of innocent children have suffered heart attacks. And uh, this is due to the higher frequencies of this planet. And I don't need to give you a spiritual lesson. And you can research ascension or heaven on earth or fifth dimension or how we're going up. There's a huge amount of information about this on the Internet. And but the, the way I see it is, is I've used this analogy for a long time that you can't take a handgun to heaven. It just wouldn't work. Because the molecular structure of the handgun is incompatible with the higher frequencies of heaven. Because there's, there's no crime in heaven. There's no disease. There, it's just completely different. It's a much higher dimension. And that's the way it is in inner earth, in Agartha. It's not exactly the same as heaven, because heaven is higher than Agartha. But Agartha is the same way. Agartha is what consider, is considered to be the fifth dimension. And so is uh, the interior of Venus. Um, which has been that way for, you know, millennia. And the reason that, that they're having heart attacks is, is because of this behavior. And uh, I would assume that very soon those people who are like murdering each other on the streets or whatever, it's going to be the same thing because this type of behavior is incompatible with the new earth. Most people of earth have yet to see the truth about the war crimes and child trafficking. And over 40 million have lost most of their sacred light because of it. And heaven has told me uh, several times now that in mid-2016, everyone on this planet who has less than 51% sacred light will have to leave or they will die. And uh, I believe that the galactics are a big part of that. 
There are millions and millions of ships in our solar system, and the entire solar system has been cleansed of dark entities, um, and most of them have been arrested and or removed. And uh, that um, I know that sounds strange to people because a lot of people have no connection to the truth. And, you know, I, I, me personally, I created an intent to only know the truth in 2008. So I've had this intent that's been growing every day for seven, well, now it's going to be the eighth year. But when you create an intent and it, as it grows stronger, especially to know the truth, I only want to know the truth, I only want to see the truth, I only want to hear the truth, everything else is filtered out. And when somebody comes up to you and starts lying to you, you just instantly know, okay, this person is just talking complete trash. And it's a wonderful thing to do, and I highly recommend it. Now, these people, there's so many people. The reason they're, they're losing their sacred light, and this has happened a lot here in my home state of Indiana, because people swear up and down that these men who are raping and murdering children are just the finest, highest quality men. Well, when you do that, your sacred light immediately drops to 37%. And what that means is that it's, it's very difficult to go back because if you're praising a man who's just raped and murdered a child the night before and you're saying, oh, well, he's just the greatest guy and everything and it's all perfect and wonderful. In fact, I got an email from somebody. Uh, they sent me an email of this picture of this guy and I was just like, ah, uh, because, you know, people are, ask me all the time. It's like, well, how do you know this? And my question is, how can you not know? How can you not look at, how can you look at this man and not know that he's raped? I think it was 170 children he had raped and he murdered six. And then I got this other email back. It was like, oh, Oh, you're a liar. You, all you want to do is, you know, sue people and, you know, all this other stuff. And I'm like, no, I'm fighting for justice for these children who are being gang raped and murdered every weekend. And there are so many people on this planet who are either consciously or subconsciously aiding and abetting and protecting these war criminals and child traffickers. But also, the good news is, step by step by step, more people. Um, I, I receive a lot of emails from people who say, well, what can I do? And I'm like, I, there's no way I'm going to unleash and say, oh, yeah, come to my house and work with me and we'll just, you know, fight these child traffickers together. There's no way I would do that because these energies, I mean, I went through training for over 20 years. It took me over 20 years of work to do light warrior work. And... Um, I, I wouldn't bring that upon anybody. And I just tell people the same thing over and over. What things that I've learned is... When you want something, create an intent. That's the way all the ascended masters do. Uh, like Jesus and Kuan Yin, St. Germain, Mary, all of them. Uh, El Moria, uh, they're all, there's about a thousand ascended masters and I don't know all their names. But they all use intent to create what they want. And people are using uh, intent to speed up the end of this child trafficking situation. And for those people, I say, I hope that 2016 is the best year of your life so far. And to the other people who are heavily supporting the child traffickers, I say, you better really think about what you're doing because it's not going to end very prettily for you. Thank you. Goodbye.